dozens of Chinese lanterns greet visitors here near the entrance to the garden. It's a spectacular show, day or night. Reporter Cara Savio has been following the installation of these colorful, oversized works of art, and here is her story. It's called Art by Day, Magic by Night, and it's certainly living up to its name. These 26 exquisite scenes are on display at this year's 2012 Lantern Fest at the Missouri Botanical Garden. This custom-designed exhibit is the first ever at a botanical garden in the United States and offers visitors a unique opportunity to see one of China's most treasured events. One of our researchers from China had uh, brought a booklet to us that talked about lantern festivals in China. And we were really amazed by uh, these just awe-inspiring spectacles that they create in China and in Asia. And we thought that maybe we could bring one of them to the United States as well. From the 137 foot long mythical dragon spanning the length of the garden's entrance to the mystical three story heavenly temple modeled after the original replica, it's an incredible sight to see. Spencer Tan and his company are the experts behind it. In China, um, this is, in fact, and we call it, this is a yearly event. And people taking this as a celebration on the 15 days of the Chinese New Year. This has become a very special event and it become a very good culture exchange for both country, especially from the east to the west. The majority of what you're gonna see, it's all been done here on site at the Missouri Botanical Garden, just in the eight weeks up to the exhibition. The elaborate outdoor sets, crafted of special silk and steel, celebrate Chinese culture through vivid colors, stunning designs, and dazzling light. A long-standing tradition in China, the lanterns are deeply rooted in both Chinese history and myth. All of the sets that we chose are very authentic to a traditional lantern festival. You're going to see plant life, you're going to see lotus blossoms and cherry blossoms, you're going to see dragons and different creatures of mythology, and you're going to see different tales from, uh, from Chinese culture that are told, different legends that are told through these sets that are very, very intricate and elaborate. There's the celebrated legend of the four-faced Buddha granting wishes to those in need, the first emperor on a quest for everlasting life, and of course, the sad and hopeful tale of the star-crossed lovers. We're going to show that how much that both parties is going to love each other. So even then, we meet up once a year, I was still waiting for you. 364 days, I didn't even see you, I was just waiting for that day. One of the most impressive scenes is the porcelain dragon, made with thousands of ceramic dishes, all attached with kite string. Another is the exquisite sailboat made of 4,600 recycled plastic bottles. My personal favorite is the chiling. They're the mythical creatures made of medicine bottles that we filled with dyed water to give the color. You name it, we build it. Or you dream it, we build it. Jay Dong works as Spencer's assistant. We try our best to do everything. We want to show our best lantern festival to U.S. people. The brilliant colors, magnificent artistry, and skilled craftsmanship make the exhibit impressive by day, but when the sun sets and the lanterns are lit, each glistening scene seems to come to life. These pieces are lit mostly from within. We've got about 11,000 light bulbs, about 15,000 total light pieces uh, going in to illuminate this exhibition at night. As amazing as it is to see this lantern display lit up at night, it's every bit as fabulous to watch the magic while it's being made. Forty Chinese artisans housed near the garden have been working around the clock to make their magic. The artisans will start with the graphic rendering that we've selected and they'll physically enlarge that picture onto the ground using chalk. And then a shaper will come along with the steel and mold all of the pieces together, which are all assembled to make a 3D armature, sort of the skeleton of a piece. It needs a lot of imaginations. That kind of skill that, you know, that is only on the job training. There's no school, there's no institute to teach them that, you know, how you're going to shape it out in the 3D dimensions. Once the framework is complete, skilled workers called skinners glue beautiful silk fabric to each piece. They'll actually adhere the pieces of silk very tightly onto each piece. The skinner, they, they don't have teacher. They just uh, uh, learn it by generation to generation. 
And in keeping with Chinese tradition, Skinners are almost always women. You need a lot of patience because, you know, in a piece there are many different colors. Patience or not, this is one festival that is especially unique and a must to see. It's really going to be an exhibit like nothing anybody's ever seen here in St. Louis, in the Midwest, really in this country.